to. Hey, hey, and good evening. With a bit of luck, I'm actually on. Good evening, AJ. Thank you for wishing us good evening twice today. Yeah, I'm actually here. I said probably I have to skip the screen at uh, the stream because I really had an annoying cold yesterday, but I recovered a bit, but I did not actually have the time to prepare a presentation, so it is just a chill B real stream playing a scenario from the San Bernardino line um, that I have not touched before. So just just looking into it. Spectre, hey, hey, how are things? Yes, yeah, well, I'm, uh, I was a bit um, uh, decapacitated last week because of a cold. So no presentation. I actually meant to do a presentation about the dark territory in American uh, signaling, but since DTG postponed the release of the new uh, Boston route, I have more time to do this actually, and um, yeah, so no, no fuss, no stress, no presentation today, just train running, and uh, we will see how this is going at least. We don't have to endure my snorting and sniffing all the time. That was very bad yesterday. And uh, today it's a bit better. Perny, hey, nice to have you on the stream. I hope you guys are doing at least as good as we are doing here. Not the race race scenario. It was uh, at least yellow colored scenario i wanted to do eye of the storm yeah that's what i wanted to try this try this sounds at least interesting enough i don't know what happens there but we'll just play today and have a nice evening and chat i have to adjust my service marker though because i was not sure anymore what the name of the scenario was now I know. And now I can put it in. Ravenslofty, nice to see you in the chat. Are you still in Germany or are you back home in England? Don't tell me you were staying in Passau actually. You are back from your trip to Vienna, Pernie says. I've been getting back into Train Sim World recently. Four, because I'm not buying five. Not even the free version, are you not even claiming the free version of five? And I just can't understand how the Swiss stay on schedule. Does it sound so? The line is so hard not to be late on this. I'm still stuck on the start. I've heard it's the best train ever. Interesting. Good morning. Due to last night's stormy conditions and the further rainfall today, there is a high chance on unreported incidents that could affect the safety of passengers and delay other services. As you are the first service of the day, you must report any hazards and incidents. As you are the first service of the day, you is there a switch to speed that up you must report any hazards or incidents you may spot on your journey to the dispatcher so our journey to the dispatcher so they can be safely dealt with Proceed when ready. Ah. <laughs> City Radar. Hey, 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 hey. Heavy Kabisa, he says. Claim Transim World 5. It is still free until the end of 2024. You can 
use all trains in world 4 dlc he says there's a free one yes just look for it on on, on steam trains in world 5 free version any viewer nightmare has arrived no cd radar you're a nightmare for the viewer yes so you can get it for free just claim it you can still play four if you want or at least you have it so what locomotive did we get uh mp36 baby bullet locomotive where i still have not found where on earth they hid the switch for a train train uh, management system only thing that we can do here is the number lights front headlights brakes oh we still are getting they want dim headlights here Maybe because we are still at the station. Oh, we have to unlock doors. Well, then let's have some brakes. Proper brakes. Maybe we need some wipers too. See, not here either. The switch brake applied. Let's check if we have at least some tail lights. I guess this counts for tail lights it's not so super red though. Gauge lights, reading lights, defrost, those things are turned on. That's the wiper switch, by the way. Oh. Spectre says the core game has some new features. No roots. Yes, I'm completely confused. I don't even know what day it is. It's a CD radar. Luckily, this time the notification did not disappoint. The notification. <laughs> I'm sorry, that that is the, the notification disappointed you. Yes, the old DLCs convert, or what? I mean, what does convert mean? At any rate, you can use the old. DLCs under Trains in World 5. Yeah. Yes, they do. They just appear in the game. Just in a non-free version. It's not my fault, it's Twitch's fault that the notification disappointed. Well, it's, it's just the same. The non-free version, the paid version and the free version, you just get all the DLCs. Yes, of course you get your DLCs. You don't get the routes that come with trains in World 5. What happened to the signals here? They just... Boop! Lit up. Like a Christmas tree. So you can use the existing ones just like in a paid version. But you don't get the routes that come with trains from World 5, so not this one, not the San Bernardino line, not Kinzigtal, and, and not uh, the West Coast main line. Yeah, that's what I said, right? That was a good idea, I think, of, of DTGs. Because that pulls a bit the thorn if everyone complaining, well, yeah, they are throwing out a new game every year and just to collect money and you can't actually blame them with that no
blame them for that, no, would be the word probably. Yeah, that is actually surprising how you not knew about this, but good thing you mentioned it on the stream today, so that Spectre was able to fix it for you. I saw the signaling tier list and I actually wondered <laughs> what exactly you are saying with that. Is, is that a rating for how good the signaling systems are or how confusing they are or how simple they are? Because then we went over the 12 miles still too hard. Yeah, what is EU flag? flag? Juniper, hey, hey. You did not get a notification today, but happy to be here. Yeah, happy to have you on the stream. ETCS, I see. But then, judging from your... Your comment, you're talking about ETCS. Full supervision cap signaling. Because limited supervision is obviously a thing that is a bit different in each country from what it seems. Diverging clear, I think 15 is the limit here, yes, at least that is correct. And if you don't pay attention like I did, then you are so fast in running into speeding here. Because it's actually quite a bit downhill on this part. And Raven's Lofty thinks that limited supervision is something of a bad idea anyways. Yeah. Did I call you Raven? No, no, Raven. Sometimes I call you Raven Slofty. But maybe I was too fast in pronouncing everything. So, Lofty, you think that limited supervision is a bad idea. So, he does not find. Uh, but you don't want to be called a raven, that's okay. We had a, a raven in our guild, was two uh, guild ones, AJ, do you remember? Accelerate a bit and open a window, maybe, to better enjoy the sound of the route. What actually did the Australians do to you? Yeah. 
is this section of I'll train no what I'm driving at the moment is S C R R A Metrolink territory. That was the question. South California Railroad Administration or something like this. S C R R A with its own signaling. <laughs> Swiss signaling, he says, is kind of confusing though. Sometimes there are speed limits, I swear they were never on a sign. But this is Sometimes not the fault of the Swiss signaling, but I would blame it on Rivet that there are sometimes signs missing. Germany is seat here. I think PCB was kind of genius and particularly talking into consideration it is quite an old system. <laughs> Rivet would never do such thing, yeah. A user on the forum, Amy in Orbit, made a very exhaustive list of, of all the um, missing speed signs and wrong speed signs signaling errors. So are we running this service here without any timetable, actually? So we don't have a stopping time where we have to stop at Cal State. And Ramos Lofty says Australia has a different signaling system in every state and you can have aspects that mean opposite things across state lines. Interesting. Well at least there are not that many Australian states, right? given what a huge country it is. So AJ, are you still awake? She egged me on to make a stream today. Or to do a stream today. So that she can fall asleep more easily. And this is apparently what already happened. Oh, look at the sun that is exactly behind the tunnel or whatever this is. No, it's not the sun, but it's something that is illuminated by the sun. Yes, I called you. I wanted to know if you are still awake. It actually lo looks quite nice here with the with the sun. I'm going this away again.
falling asleep to train nerding sounds funny, he says. That's why she always insists on me doing those streams, because she finds my voice so soothing and then she can just fall asleep while I'm doing the train nerding. This station here is a weird one, isn't it? So we're not getting a time, but we're still getting... Well, we have! But we're still getting points subtracted for being late. And why is that a proper stopping position? The first two cars are totally not anywhere where people can board, but apparently this is how it is supposed to be. Yes, this time I actually stopped in the correct place according to the signs at any rate. This is in the unboxing stream I overshot this station here really badly because it's going a bit downhill here and it's hard to stop. So, so when you pass a shunting signal with the first axle you can see the piece of D system adapting the interface. How can you use freedom units? I have no idea. To get hype train on this stream. <laughs> well, I've seen it on others dreams but I have no idea actually what the, this hype train did not sound really appealing to me to be honest. Do you know what it is AJ? So as soon as the train has passed this sign can accelerate to the 79 I wonder if they still have flying cars as back to back to the future style, yeah. That is actually a thing that is really a bit slowing down to 55. It's when people give a lot of subs in a short time frame. That costs a lot of money then, yeah, I guess. You need more subs in 10 minutes that I, then I can get in 10 years or something like that. Three separate actions for three peeps. It says AJ. We have 55 for the switch. At least three peeps would need to sub, resub, or cheer for hype train. <laughs> so if three people cheer one bit. You get hype train, and it is actually cheap.
Only cheers of 100 bits or more will count. I see. Yeah, well then it's not that cheap anymore. Advance approach. We're running up to... The guys are still pursuing their smart arsing contest about whether some safety systems or signaling systems as well or not. One hundred bits is like one euro. Yeah. No, this conversation is over. This conversation is over. Sticking feathers up your butt does not make you a chicken. Garden node in Twitch, the highest contributors will each be recognized as the conductors. Uh huh. Like Hank. Hank is our conductor. And he always has to do the annoying work. Maybe he cheered too much. So, I like this part of this track very much. When you come out from in the middle between the motorway, you go across this ramp and then down another ramp. 60 incoming. By the way, I don't want to be dim anymore. incoming it's like approach diverging the signals say Five incoming across the ramp. There is a fallen tree on the side of the line. Contact the dispatcher and inform him of the incident. Where is our dispatcher down here? Proceed as signals indicate, he says. Well, I'm telling you, there is a A tree. This is exactly the correct place where a tree can fall next to the line. Especially, good morning. We received your communication about the fallen tree, and I've informed the emergency service to ensure it's removed safely. Do keep us informed if you come across other hazards. All right. Then we can stop at El Monte. What are the thresholds, this Perni? Because we can customize it. AJ, can we customize it? <laughs> yeah. 
it wasn't the magic fallen tree in Nidatalban Nidatal or whatever. No, I don't think so. It was just a very mundane tree that grows next to the ramp here. For once there are no cars sitting on the opposite track. to do the full honking sequence since there is already this stop Seriously, the five cars stopping indicator is just right here. And it gives us a 15 yards. And now, did I stop outside of the stopping indicator or what or are, am I sitting in the oh come on they want us to stop at the markers for six cars but we definitely have five can we make it so we can get a train going even for one contributor? Well, AJ, look into that. I don't mind at all. Okay. Then we stop here if you insist. There's a typo. Wait a second. Do I have a typo in my... Yes. Eye of the Storm. Eye of the Storm. That can be fixed. Actually. Actually, the proof of the pudding for if the stop markers are correct and everything typically is whether this door or no, that one, this door with a handicapped sign is actually at the handicapped ramp. Well.
Junior Pesos, do you know how to break in such a way where it doesn't feel like the final bit of braking always knocks over everybody in the train regardless of how smoothly you brake? The coming to a stop part is always so rough. Almost feels like the train is going backwards, falling in... I don't know. The idea of braking is, in my opinion, to always release the brakes on the last bit. So go in with more brakes than necessary and then... Yeah, the cars are still running on, on the level crossings. That is a weird thing. I don't know if there's only on this route. Oh, I accelerated too fast. Still have to clear the switch for... What is it here? 20, 20, yeah, 20. And now it's 40 again. And then actually, if you're releasing towards the stopping point, the very, very last bit, you can increase the brake force again to stop the train. But obviously, I have no idea how this feels in real life. From what I know from, uh, from what I can see on, on the underground trains that I'm running every day, They actually apply quite a lot of braking force at the end to burn away the last like 20-25 kilometers per hour without it really feeling so harsh. And with getting the train to a gentle stop here on, on those American trains, sometimes I think now I've got a feel for it. Now I know how to stop those trains and then at the next station it's again like... It's running way too fast. Now we're running down this ramp here again. What I've noticed uh, in some videos about this line here is that they are doing the 14L pattern actually really late, like more like 10 seconds before they... There was another stop, slow down to 40. Now that I see this bend, I remember it. Radar says, well, I thought of a brilliant movie quote that describes me here, but I can't mention it here because it's not nice. Uh huh. <laughs> it's not sponsored. No, nothing is sponsored on my channel.
We also fit the guineas. Uh, So what is about your brilliant movie quote? So my brilliant movie quote of sticking feathers up your butt does not make you a chicken did not describe you well enough, CD Raider. My you born not all of them, some of them. One line actually is ATO. Our two lines are with ATO trains. In one still has drivers. Yeah, quite, actually. Yeah, it's hard to tell it from the videos because you can't feel it. And from my experience, it's not actually the braking itself that creates this unsettling feeling, but this this jerk at the end when it suddenly stops braking because you're getting slowed down and then all of a sudden the train comes to a rest and boop. this can shake you off balance if you're standing on a subway train The new Siemens is... So I'm not co uh, familiar enough with the subway trains to know which are the new Siemens. Is. So at least this time we managed to stop in a correct position. And this time, actually, the door is in the correct place. Izuyake, hey, 
nice to see you in the chat for the first time. I like trains in general, he says. I'm thinking about buying this thing. Does it feel like you're actually driving a train or just pressing buttons to control the speed and brake the train? As by now, you have definitely more things to do than just uh, control speed and brake. Most of the trains, especially the German ones, have quite elaborately uh, modeled safety systems. Obviously it's not the same as with a more professional simulator like Zuzi. But yeah. Oh no, train is rolling backwards. That cannot be. To be fair, this Perny, Finland long distance trains, human driven, also really have that end jerk. The new trains in general, I guess, is this? The new Siemens trains? I actually do not know if the new Siemens trains that we have in our subway network are the new Siemens trains that you are talking about or is it is there already a new generation on the market <laughs> yeah but Isuyake I think it is worth getting the game And a lot of things are modeled that you can actually see in the cap and turn. The switches and dials. We are always wishing for more, like for here for the I ETM uh, ETMS system. Electronic Train Management System, ETMS, yeah, ETMS. It's obviously not map modeled as you can see, but many things are. The physics are good, and it looks cozy. The G1, yeah, I think it's the G1. Those are the subway trains that I typically travel on every day. Covina, next stop. So far the funniest braking for me as a CD Raider is the new X wagon in green. It stops extremely smoothly, but that final stop to Siri is like hitting a wall. <laughs> okay. And this is obviously a common problem, this last stop to zero. So now that the sun comes out, we're actually having quite a loss in FPS. I think I have read something about that. That sun set and the rising of the sun can work badly on the FPS all the long shadows need to be calculated. So what's new? Kavina appears to be suffering from a severe flood, so we'll be, you will need to approach the station with caution. Oh, that's a thing. Good, they tell us.
Then we will coast into Covina. And this info just pop up to your mind, yeah, I guess. I guess they were telling us on the radio. funny that they don't actually tell us about what we have to expect in terms of this flooding if they are actually rerouting us or if we are expected to stop if it's getting too deep Have we passed Claremont and Montclair already? And Montclair? <laughs> no, we have not. <laughs> and Bernie says, should have played Train Sim World last night. Wonder if the game would have just counted me as being an hour early. Nope. In game time is a very relative thing. It actually slows down if you're getting FPS problems. So in the game you're living in a totally different timeline than the one that you live in in real life. That was one of the biggest problems when we tried to make this Ebula simulator. So, what about our flooding here? We're coming in with extreme caution. Claremont, Montclair. <laughs> that is really funny with the Claremont, Montclair. So, is that water on the tracks that we can see here? Looks a bit like it. And we can still see the tracks. So it's probably okay to just pass it. Those crossing gates here are actually closed, but it's a good thing. Looks a bit weird, this water, huh? The weather is very different. see how we're rolling backwards if we take out the brakes here 
It looks like a trackside worker is already assisting with the flooding. Climb down by the locomotive and speak to them. All right. Well, probably not on this side. Alright, my friend, what's up? Trackside worker. Hello, we've just arrived on site, but our initial inspection shows that a water pipe has burst, resulting in all this flooding. It's not even the rain then. It's been made worse by the constant rainfall, however, we've temporarily closed the station and we're looking to put speed restrictions in the surrounding area as soon as possible to avoid any trains passing through the station at speed. Can you please contact dispatch and let them know about the situation? Alright, can do that. You get the longest stop time ever, yeah, that's true. Dispatcher, hello, we appreciate you informing us about the flooding and will ensure speed restrictions are put into effect and that all other engineers are notified as soon as possible. Yeah. Just wait for the speed restrictions to be set in place and because the station is closed we're not opening our doors here all right then we're not opening our doors here so careful that we don't roll backwards uh, this time it works without Yeah, Spectre says that long distance trains actually wait for an hour at the station when the clock is set back. <laughs> so that they don't get confused and the timetable does not get confused. I would like to see those temporary speed restrictions here in the S uh, CRRA signaling. So Pomona is typically the halfway marker. Really not getting it slowed down for this switch here. Is that really so? It is really so. So, we're actually having water here to our right, look at that. So those wa water drainage channels should actually be full of water now, right?
can hear the relativity of the time in the bell actually. Not everyone can afford to lose an hour of train movement, yes. But I guess this is really because otherwise it gets too complicated to get all the schedule back. To get everything back on schedule. So it's easier to just lose this hour. It's back to the says. I never experienced it myself, but I know that it used to be like this. When there were no hourly connections and I see I see uh, it's the E lines or rather D trains etc. Die Zug! Increase to 79. Yeah, and Juniper 6. Very rightly so, that they could use this hour to make up time make up the delays. Yeah. I just wonder what they do when the clock is set ahead one hour. They cannot just jump ahead for one hour in their schedule so there must be a different way of taking care of that now we had an increase can actually go 79 here. Is that so? Yeah, it is so. Now we're running uphill again. So take this in mind when we're stopping so that we're not getting this annoying train rolling backwards again. So in spring, I guess they have to carry this one hour over. One hour of free delay. Never understood what this D class of trains meant. I only ever encountered in Austria when they ran early in the morning instead of rail jets. And it had really old coaches. While rail it is much noisier, yeah. Well, the trains used to be the fast trains. A couple of decades ago.
there are not many of them left anymore, I don't, if any at all. I remember a, a couple of years ago, but it's actually quite some time ago now, that there were some D trains left that ran and that ran at very awkward hours at night or in the early morning when no other trains were running. Originally, Spectre says D for Durchgangswagen. Yeah, the connection, yes, so that <coughs> you were actually able to walk along through all the carriages on the train. As opposed to those trains where you actually only can get into one. Compartment from the platform, and then you had to stay there. It is very long ago. Well, that's actually a thing with the toilets. Actually, there were a lot of um, carriages that did not have toilets at all, and the more modern carriages then had communal toilets on some of the cars. But with, with those really old classic compartments, there were no toilets at all. Actually, was a saying when I was little where this D train thing survived. So, if you felt rushed by someone and it did not want to be rushed, and people would say, Ein alter Mann ist kein D-Zug, or means an old man is not a D train. They're saying actually lived longer than the actual D trains existed, I think. We finally made it to Pomona.
This is quite a long... No, it's not a platform at all. It just looks like a... a bit. Here it is after all our platform. Here again, here is the five car marker. But they don't want us to stop at the five car marker. to go to the six car marker. the effect that we totally missed the ramp. But that was already the whole thing. At any rate, we made it, we made it to Pomona. Perny says, it's America, they don't have accessibility regulations. They definitely have, you bet. But if someone counts the locomotive into the number of cars and has a stop at the six cars marker, then the ramp is useless, unfortunately. So we're actually only like 48 minutes into the stream. Maybe we can play another short scenario in this this one we did let's play the graduation day at my favorite station university operator service to the university university to collect and drop off students and i just have to adapt this one here Group graduation day. Does it work? Yes, it does. But why not full platform level boarding, though? Bernie says, well. It's a good question, maybe because it is more expensive to build the whole platform anew and then it does not work with the existing ramps and staircases and uh, elevators. So put one little platform at the spot where the handicapped entrance is anyway. So, now we are in the cab car. Good morning, today is graduation day and you have been tasked with taking students to the college to receive their diplomas. Right, where are we sitting then? Where are we? Where are we? At El Monte, so we are driving towards LA. Set the cab setup to set up. All right. Set the generator field to on. That's over here as well. Yeah, exactly. Set the automatic brake to cut in. Insert the reverse handle. 
two forward. Head and aux lights to dim. That's the cap heater. <laughs> dim. Unlock the doors. They are to the left, aren't they? It looks as if they are. Just make sure. Here's our train management system. We can. The marker lights are off. And now. That is always funny. If you want to change the caps, you end up here. Then you press number one, and then you're back. Where you started. Mm. Don't actually have a rear end on this train. And I don't have marker lights on. Can't switch. No chance. Have to drive without them, because I don't want to trudge back all the way. Don't have an independent brake here, obviously. Twenty here, right? Or twenty five in this direction, all right. Students, so being fifteen minutes late is perfectly acceptable. Yes, I have no idea if they do cum tempore in American universities. But I definitely like this part of the road. No, the whole ramp is 25, I think. Again, this is because you miss things when you're doing external shots. I miss the 40 board. But we're not missing the 60 board. probably passed it.
79. Yes, this car goes stone cold crazy through the barrier. <laughs> Yep, the signaler sometimes says that denied your train appears to be off path. That can happen if you have set a switch incorrectly or the game did set a switch incorrectly. So you're not on the track that the game expects you to be. Can be a bug, can be a mistake in setting the switches. Then, what was it the other day when I encountered this? Can't remember. Maybe sometimes if you run objectives. It happens at any rate if the dispatcher does not expect your train to be at the place where it appears to be. What route is it that you are running on at the moment? Luzern Sursi. Oh, good question. There is actually almost no chance to go wrong, huh? Most probably the dispatcher routed you to a wrong track. I'm afraid there is no remedy then. Yeah, Revit would never fuck this up. I don't remember a situation like this in Revit Source, or do I? But I'm afraid I don't know any remedy to salvage this. Except for replaying the whole service. Yeah. I remember the first time this happened to me was on Sandpitch Grade. When I was waiting at a red signal forever and then the signal told me that my train seems to be off track. Maybe sometimes this can happen if you get switched between AI trains and the AI trains are running in a different way as the dispatcher expects them to be running and then somehow the dispatcher's strategy gets confused. Did I miss my speed sign again? Or is it still incoming? Those things are miles, right? And probably it is still incoming. Might be that one. Yes. When he was doing the midnight rush scenario and it has been for like 40 minutes then I wait on a red for like 7 minutes and ask a signaler that day I'm off path, yeah. Advance approach here. <coughs> And here very shortly after. But 
approach signal. That means we have to slow down to 40. And obviously be prepared to stop at the next signal. Don't know if there is another signal before we get to Calstead station. In Luzern's Russi, to my knowledge, there is still this problem that a couple of services don't work anymore because um, there is a little uh, branch line at the foot of this uh, this hill where there was also the ETCS speed bug is and for some reason the trains the uh, I, 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 AI trains that are supposed to come from this branch line are not let into or there is always a path for those trains and the trains are never coming so I remember there is a couple of services that cannot be completed because of this problem with this branch line or at least that was last time I played Luzern Sursi and I did not hear that this was fixed so I guess there is no signal before we get to the station. So dear students, we are here, approaching your alma mater. So where the heck am I supposed to stop here now with my long, long train? Are there any markers? There is one, I think. Now that we are running from the driving trailer from the cab car, it is not the five cars markers anymore, but the cab spot. Nice job, you've reached the college on time, so open the doors and let the students debark. Debark, dear students. If you can. Oh, look at them. There is actually a graduation hat guy. Oh, or more of them. It's quite sweet. Interesting choice of boots. And we hit the platform. Still quite a gap here, right? Not exactly sure how they are supposed to get over there. Is there something that can be extended from the train, like this thingy here, so that they can actually get on the train with the wheelchair? Good old stream, Mr. CD Raider. With the uh, Luzan Sursi. Yeah, that was more or less when you first joined the stream. It appears that it took longer than expected to get everyone on board, and you are now behind schedule. Expect to face adversity when approaching LA Union. Oh, well, did not take that long, did it? Ah, I forgot. 
I do not have an indie break here. For the hill start, you actually have to use the train brake. Luzern Sursi was Penny's first video of mine. Oh, that's cool. And I remember CD Radar talking to us on Luzern Sursi and telling us that he's driving underground trains and joining the stream because of the ETCS. Forty, it says, but the sign said sixty. No, it is the sixty. So, what adversity are we supposed to expect on our way to LA Union Station? Approach diverging is not really an adversity, is it? 60, 50, 45, 25, 12. Where is here a diverging speed I cannot see? Pony says, I also started watching the stream because of ETCS. Interesting. Well, it is definitely time that DTG implemented ETCS on the British trains, on the German trains. The fact that they pimped the screens on the Baureihe 411 actually gives me some hope that they are planning on doing this. Student loans, maybe. Student loans, yeah, some adversity. You have to pay back your student loans earlier than expected. Here is the announcement. It looked like 40 to me. from what it says here, it's 50 and 45. The white numbers on the green boards are definitely easier to read than the black numbers on the yellow boards. Diverging approach. That means there will be a red signal ahead. I wonder where the signal is. Around the bend is always spooky. You don't know where the signal is. Specter, get us back to Cajon Pass. This bend with the red signal in the fog is still haunting me. But here it seems the next signal is a bit ahead. Screens on the 193 also scream ETCS in future, don't they? I guess you are right. With the Vectron you never know. 
At least they have now the opportunity to implement different baselines of VTCS on their different Vectron versions. Now that I learned that this weird grayish blue on the Flix train Vectron is actually intentionally so because the software version running on this machine obviously displays this tech screen in this weird grayish blue. <clears throat> the grain train that we were running down Cajon Pass. That had a lot of tonnes, that was a heavy beast. But it is still one of the most interesting things in the game to get those trains up and down the hills. Whoops. That is bumpy, a piece here. <laughs> One day we should make a bar stow to what is it? The end station the, the, at uh, Antelope Valley. Got it at Lancaster? Barstow to Lancaster. Cajon Pass all the way down Cajon Pass, San Bernardino, San Bernardino, LA, LA to Lancaster. Or the other way around. With the Flying Scotsman again, or some other train. Check out the route switching feature, what I have actually not done yet. So I can see a red signal, but it is not for us here. This signal has cleared in the meantime. We have a diverging clear here. The signal looks a bit spooky, but it is probably not ours. Advanced approach. Well, so far the adversities are not so super adverse. Approach diverting.
So typically you have a number two camera at the front of the train and a number two camera at the end of the train. But we have only one end at the same end. In our high position on the cab car, we can really enjoy the suspension. Boing, 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 boing. Diverging approach. Is it possible that we still have a red entry signal, or is it just a a restricting so one thing that I have not been able to actually find out is in what situations a restricting signal is announced with an approach signal and in what situation is it is announced with an approach restricting signal you can actually find it sometimes if you get an approach restricting Maybe it is just that your red signal that is announced with the approach signal is actually switched to a restricting in the meantime. So is there a red signal when we're getting onto the platform or is this just the back? Now it's switched to a restricting. Okay. Well, they typically have restricting signals here, right? When we're running into LA station, in LA Union station. So I'd really like to make another signaling stream here in this DLC, but I'm actually not really finding anything that I could portray. Because the SCRRA signaling we already covered in the Antelope Valley. Here's our ramp. Nice job, you've arrived safely and without any further delays. Open the passenger doors and let the passengers disembark.
good work. That's all for your assigned tasks for now. So let's see how you did. So how did we do? Nice enough, I should say. Stop accuracy with a zero dot and no on-time bonus. There was no way to get any on-time bonus in this scenario, I guess. Yeah, but look, again, the numbers are touching or even overlaying here. I thought they fixed it. But probably this is already the smallest print that this can do. I'll see. All right. I think that was it for today. Call it a night. AJ is sound asleep most probably. Did the trick. Thank you so much for bearing with me for this very lively uh, chat that we had today. And uh, I hope next week I will be back with a tutorial stream presentation. And... Uh, have a full capacity of my nose again so guys take care have a nice week and see you soon bye bye up 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 whoop whoop so I'm not getting any reading from my microphone anymore, was it? Was it actually off all the time?